this new bait? Absolutely. I've got one right here. So uh comes in two sizes, uh, three-eighths and half-ounce. But what I think really makes this bait unique is how the blade is attached to the head. And what makes that unique is the sound it creates. As this blade's coming through the water, it is hitting the inside of that head. It just has a very, very unique bump to it when it comes through the water. A byproduct of that, we didn't really realize it, you know, is how weedless it is. Like, you can just let that thing stop it, kill it, let it bury down in the grass, pop it, and it cleans itself off instantly. Like, you're back to fishing. It's back to vibrating. Really cool. Another really neat aspect of it is how this head's designed. It skips like a dream, you know, like with that with that blade being inside that head and then this concave belt banana deal there, you don't skip like a flat rock up underneath every dock. It's really, really cool deal in that aspect too. But it's got a hand tight skirt, Berkeley, you know, uh, scented skirt also. Uh, we're pairing it with the, uh, the new uh, Power Bay trailer. It's just a really cool trailer. It comes in two sizes, three and a half, four and a quarter. Uh, it's just a perfect profile, I think, for them. It's got a really good hook. It's got a great hook keeper in it. Um, you know, that's our bait keeper, you know, trailer keeper, that which is really important just to keep that bait up on there. It, it doesn't come off. So, yeah, that's it. Good stuff. Anything else we should be thinking about getting here? Man, you got to check out my new spinner bait. All we right. worked on there this thing for three years. And you had to ask, man, it's a spinner bait. Why three years? It's because the blade. The blade is completely unique to Berkeley. Like, many, many variations back and forth. No, the blade's too flat. The blade's too concave, the blade's too thick, the blade's too wide. I've got it perfect. And like when you go to throw our standard size tandem willow, when you reel it through the water, you'll know what I'm talking about because you can hear it. Like when you're standing in your boat and you hear that coming through the water, it's just got, I call it a grinding noise. And it's what I was looking for. Now, spearbait's a bait that a lot of times we throw in Oklahoma in muddy water, stained water. And that added noise, that added grind, grinding si sound it's like my fish catch rate but has gone through the roof. Like it, it's way better than I ever dreamed it could be. I was trying to get it to that point, but it's it's very unique in that, that there's no other spinner baits out there that make that sound. I used to hand build some and I was able to duplicate it and never able to, to replicate it, you know, yeah. through through everything. But it's got a hand tied skirt. Another unique aspect of it is when you look at that hook, look how long that hook is. You don't need a trailer hook at all with this, you know, it's gonna make it a lot more weedless. Uh, the conical bait keeper, you know, your your, your spinnerbait trailer is going to stay up on there. It's got really, really good components, you know, as far as the blades. Uh, the size is written right there on the back. We've got two different sizes or two different styles. We've got the standard size right here, uh, eight ounce all the way up to one ounce in every blade configuration you can imagine. You know, big nighttime one ounce uh, baits. You know, we got slow We got Indiana. We got double Colorado. Uh, bluegill baits, everything that you could possibly need. And then when you get over to here, we've got a compact series. And like this bait right here is a one ounce bait, but yet it just fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. So, you know, we've got all good the, river application, baby. Yeah, we've got all our deep, like deep, for me, deep. like that's a, like one of those things people we don't talk about is like okay. catching them on, right. mop up on that deep crank bait, right. that football jig, throw that big spinner bait down there, one ounce spinner bait. Yeah. You can see all the weights here in the back. Uh, Really, really okay. unique. Um, you know, like this one here. This one here is a three-quarter ounce. I mean, just look how compact that bait is for a three-quarter yeah. ounce spinner bait. Again, we got it tandem willow, double willow. Uh, it goes all the way down to three-eighths ounce. Uh, double Colorado, um, all the colors. You know, it's, it's it's just a really unique spinner bait. We didn't cut any corners, and it took us a long time to get it there, but we got it right. You know, and that's one thing we talked about at the beginning about how you guys, you guys are pros. You're out there doing this all the time, and you're to say that it took three years. I mean, that is saying something I'm to tweak it and go back to the drawing I'm board and get it exactly like, how you want, want it. it. Like, I, yes, no, I mean that's what it's all about. They kind of get frustrated with me here that's a little right. bit, but I, if, what they, I was if saying, they're going to ask me to do it, yes, I want to. If they want me to put my name on it, yes, I want it to be perfect. And to my point, by the time it hits their hands, our hands, right. you've perfected it. You perfected it. You spent it time is. on the water. It it's perfect to your liking, yeah. and now it's going to be coming out. We'll hopefully, get it at Jake's bait yeah. tackle. Yeah, I, and, I don't want to have any other spinner baits in my boat. I want right. the, you this know, what and, you want. and that's why it took so long. Right, to get it. that's awesome. Well, we appreciate you. Good luck. Right, Thank man. you. Thank y'all. Thanks. Appreciate it.